Have you checked out Change Cars yet? That's the website where you can find your next car because they only list cars from franchise dealers giving you total peace of mind. That's changecars.co.za. There we go. Hey, we're back. We're back. Another podcast from Will and Hill. <laughs> it's been a while, been eh? A while, eh? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. We just seem to be having busy. gaps with him lately. Life is busy at the moment. Totally busy. So talk to me about cars. Yeah. Isuzu, Isuzu D-Max. Mm. We just had on test the extended cab version, mm -hmm. the LSE spec. Mm -hmm. Let's get this one right. Four it's by four. Four by four, three liter, four cylinder diesel. Yes. 140 kilowatts, 450 newton meters of torque. Which, if you threw a dartboard at mm. three liter turbo diesels, that's what you're going to get. Well, look, a lot of them are maybe 10 kilowatts more, but big Give deal. Take, yeah, yeah it, it's no big deal. Six speed automatic, by the way. Yes. As well. Okay. Yes. Right. Look, the thing about these Suzus. Yes. Go talk to many, many farmers in South Africa. Yes. And go talk to a lot of industrial buyers. Yes. They swear by them. Yes. That's why. They are the number three seller in South Africa. They sell what, but anywhere between a thousand and 1,500 of them every month. That's a lot. It is a lot. They, they basically are solidly number three to, of course, you know who the other two are. Ford and Toyota. Correct, yeah. Right. They are solidly, and they sit there, and they've been there all along. So they got a good niche there. There's yes. no doubt about it. Let's talk the Bucky. First of all, the extended cab. I love extended cab. Yes. To me, a single cab bucky is a pain in the rear end. Yes. Because where do you put any valuables? Right. You want to go overnight? You want to do anything? Yeah. Where do you put your stuff? Right. Extended cab just makes sense to me. No, it doesn't. Why? The pricing difference between an extender cab yeah. and an actual proper double cab mm. is so tiny. You just buy the double cab. No, no, no. Yes. You, you, you're missing something here. What? You see, you are not, you sh you're not an entrepreneur, I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> you're missing the most important fact. Talk to me. Double cab, you cannot claim your VAT back. Oh. Extended cab, you can. Ha ha. So it's purely a tax dizzle. It's a, well, hey, hey, use whatever word you want. But the bottom line being, if you don't need the seats, if you don't need to seat more than two people, then you buy the extended. You buy the extended. Oh, I would take it over the single unless you really need that extra. What's it? Three hundred or five hundred mils jump, of jump between, low deck. The jump between a single and an extender is significant. Yes, but you're getting so much more out of it. Yeah, are you? It's that little bit of space behind the seats. I. Mm, okay. Mm, to me, it makes sense. That's not, what I'm thinking. I've so. done overnight trips or whatever in a single cab, and it's a Pain. Pain because you can't put your suitcase. You can't even take an exactly. overnight bag, exactly. nothing. Yeah. So, so that's okay. my reason. So if it if it's your primary vehicle, yeah. Yeah. yes, yeah, total yes. sense. If it's a workhorse, which mm. is what this thing is, yeah. I mean, let's face it. You you you, you alluded earlier that Isuzu's mm. are mm. longevity. Correct. I don't think Isuzu's die of natural causes. No, they don't. They don't. They, no, they die of. Something like a piano landing on them or something like that. <laughs> something you know, stupid they, like that. Yes, too. They well, just, they only just, way you'll kill them. They just go and go yeah. and go and go. It's the only like, way to kill one of them. And okay? I think that's why, the, you're right, that's yeah. why they, they have the solid niche. But now I'm going to say the negative on this vehicle, so okay? It's a workhorse. The negative on this vehicle yeah, is it's a workhorse. Yes. It is agricultural. It is. The engine is grrr, clack, 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 clatter, clatter, especially when it's cold. Yes. Which, again, the opposition have refined out to a larger extent. And the ride. The ride is still Bucky, Bucky. ride, not Bucky. SUV ride that can take a load, yes. as the latest competitor has managed to engineer. Yes. But you've got to also accept, although this is the new version, I think that came out, what, about 18 months ago? Something like that. It's still a pretty old design. It, it is older, there's no doubt. It's a generation back they've from kept, the latest Ranger. Exactly. They've kept what works yeah. into it. Yeah. They haven't tried to make any fancy mm. changes. And you get what you, you, you get, get what, what you it says for. on the tip. You get exactly. You get now, what it says on the tip. Unfortunately we didn't go four by four in it. No. Just didn't get a chance. I'm sorry. I wish we could have. But we know it's capable of that too. There's no discussion on the subject. Sure. It'll do what you need, allowing for the length of the vehicle, which is always the point on any Bucky 
and, and that's one of the biggest challenges with four by fours. <laughs> it's turning circle is monstrous. <laughs> it's it's not a turning circle. It's a turning. Yeah, no, no, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it, it took me it took me a little while to figure out. It it's wasn't a turning. Me. It's a turning neighbourhood. Yeah, it wasn't me <laughs> yeah. trying to get out of, my own, out of my own driveway. It yeah. was a damn bucky. Yeah, no, <laughs> for sure. Mess. But now but, yeah. my last point I've got to make is. If I was now going to go and buy an extended cab, yeah. four by four automatic, yeah. blah 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 blah, yeah. with ballpark figures on the on the numbers on the on the engine, etc., yeah. is, and he says this is my only thing, at seven hundred six thousand rand for that one. Yeah, there's a lot of competition. The Ranger is actually now. It's ah, very difficult. Careful. It's very difficult careful. to compare spec. You almost fell into the Ford trap. Yeah, what? almost fell what? into it. Well, it doesn't include the warranty. You've got to add that no, onto the uh, price. Correct. No, yeah. no, 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 no. It On includes the, the warranty. It doesn't include the Sorry, service pad. Sorry, the service pad. pad. Yeah. No, which which Suzu does. Yeah. So probably they almost dead on the They're price. Gonna They're going to be similar, uh, yeah. give or take. Yeah. The Toyota is about 20 grand more. More, yeah. But so they the same money. I mean, at 700,000 rand, you're not going to argue about 20. Correct. Now, the question becomes, do you buy a Suzu? Do you buy Ford? Do you buy Toyota when it's the same kind of money? Well, and you know what? As I started this video, there's a big percentage of farmers and industrial users that will go for that Isuzu every single yeah. time. And my because final comment. They can depreciate it in five years. It'll last another 20. Correct. Done. And you know what? They're right. And the, it's slowly being broken, but South Africans up to now have always been so brand loyal. They're not going to change. The guys who've been buying Isuzu's for years <laughs> are going to keep on buying Isuzu's. I, I, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why. Mm. And it's also because the brand's reputation has held that and over 20 years. They've delivered Correct. over 20 years. Correct. And, and, and that's, that's, that's yeah. a very hard thing to try and overcome. There you go. Yeah. Hey, you've got three choices basically now. There are a couple of other smaller players in the game, but let's leave it at those three. Go with the one you've always gone with. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you know, you're also right there because I think of course I'm probably right. a big, <laughs> for once, <coughs> numbers, a big percentage of Bucky buyers are not buying for the first time. No, no, they're not. So <coughs> They know what they want. They you know what they like. You know what you want, you know what you like, and you know what you've lived with before. And, and uh, Susan will give that to you. Yeah. I think it's, it's hey, a comment. Hey, on that point from us, see you next time.